Raider Nation, it's your boy Graphic Raider, man. Back with another quick video, the views expressed to your graphic podcast. Welcome to the black hole of Raiders YouTube, y'all. Let's get to it, man. With the new hiring of our new defensive coordinator, Gus Bradley, here is to hoping that he puts our players in the right positions to succeed. What I mean by that, if we do not cut LaMarcus Joyner, he's been in the nickel for the last few years with us, he needs to return to safety. Wade Phillips helped him find the most success he's ever had in the NFL on that Super Bowl run that year at safety. It's easy. Don't get cute. With Javon White on the roster, I would love to see him be back in that hybrid role that he played at UNLV. A little bit of safety, a little bit of linebacker. Mostly at linebacker because I, I believe he could be that sideline to sideline guy. But why not showcase his skills on both sides? If he could play safety, have him play a little bit of safety. If he could play linebacker, have him play a lot of linebacker. With that being said, Tanner Mews, the two-time national champ, former first-time All-ACC 2019, he needs to return to safety full-time point-blank period. Leave the linebacker position to the linebackers. The third rounder out of Clemson, he needs to be that special teams war daddy and safety that he naturally is. He ran a 4.41 at the combine, that's, that speed right there is already an upgrade at the position over Harris, which he's gone, Heath, which he may be gone, and Abram. Resign Morrow after his breakout season, and pretty much, man, the linebacker position is sewn up. We signed Littleton and Nick Wachowski for a reason. Don't get cute. Littleton can still be that sideline to sideline guy. Let's just be honest, y'all. It was the scheme. It just it was it was the scheme. Period. Point blank. Paul Gunther ran a horrible defense. Everyone was confused at all times. Gus Bradley is going to help Corey Littleton so much. Lit, lit, lit. Don't get cute. Corey Littleton, Nick Wachowski, Nicholas Morrow, Javon White. That's a deep linebacking core. We can even bring back Raquan McMillan. He's still young. He'll be cheap in free agency. He's great against the run. He still has to get better in coverage. But that's a deep linebacker and core right there. Don't get cute. Tanner Muse missed the whole season with the toe injury. I believe a lot of that, though, was that's kind of trying to put him on a back burner and allow him to learn the position of linebacker at the next level. Move him to safety. We may not have to draft a, draft the safety in the first or second round. We may have those guys already on our roster. Why reach for something when we, we can go for need? It looks like Abram and Tanner Muse, and I could be wrong. You put them back there, that they may succeed together. With you know, surprisingly, that 4.41, Tanner Muse is pretty quick. And like I said before, he was 2019 first team all ACC. The, the guy is great in, you know what I'm saying, in special teams. He could be great at the safety position. Gus Bradley, I believe, will bring the best out of all of our guys. I think with Marcus Joyner, if not cut will benefit greatly from Gus Bradley's presence. I believe that Javon White could do a lot for us on the defensive side of the ball with, with, with Gus Bradley's presence. And I think that Tanner Muse, if used correctly, can be a really, really, really great addition to this defense. Look, y'all, like I said before, our linebacking core, we spent a lot of money on them. Corey Littleton and Nick Wachowski, we grabbed the two best linebackers out of the draft a year ago. Or out of the out of free agency. My apologies. Don't get cute. Leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this video. And if you have not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. It's your boy Graphic Raider. You already know what it is. I love y'all nation. One.